I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad we didn't record yesterday. We were. Sp- <laughs> Are you good? <laughs> Welcome to Genius Bar, everybody. Whoa. Hi, Sam. You got it. You got to give a headphone warning. We just lost like half no, of our it's subs. Fine. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you okay? Hey Sam, how are you? <laughs> oh, welcome to Genius oh, Bar, I'm everybody. Just perfectly relaxed. Welcome to Genius Bar, guys. So, episode uh, what? Fifteen. Fifteen, man. I'm. I'm. This they is like we wouldn't make it. I'm very fancy with my with my hot tea. I am gonna put my pinky Ooh. out. Hang on. Is that still soothing in your throat? Do you still do the thing where you like cough for four minutes? Yep. Without sometimes. breathing. Really? Episode fifteen with the pinky out. There you go. Everyone take a sip of your hot tea. And you it got your water. I feel like, dude, at this point, you so every video ever you have that clear glass of water. And it's yeah. the same glass. I feel like you need your own personal like branded glass. Oh, that would be kind of cool. At this point. Maybe I should do that. I haven't done merch in forever. When's the last time you have you done merch recently? No, it's been a minute. It's been like a year, maybe. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't like. know. Okay. Well, a lot of people have like asked over over the years or like, you know, been like, hey, like I really want to see. I update merch like I'd love another way to support the channel. And honestly, I used to do it back in the day. Like I used to go so hard. I don't know if you remember that, John, but I would spend like months on like a spring collection, a fall collection. I no, was like I don't really remember proud that of it. That was probably during the time where I hated your guts. Right, probably. You were like, <laughs> if I see his merch one more time, I swear to God. Yeah, I probably but still have I, mute filters on Twitter and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I stopped because... I got like more interested in high fashion and I was just like, I don't like wearing my own merch because it looks dumb. Like I, I literally, I just stopped because I was like, this looks dumb as hell. Do and I update do I uh, in Supreme collaboration? Oh my God. Now, yeah. If, you know, Louis Vuitton, Supreme, <laughs> Off-White, Gucci, Versace, if they come to my door, John, I'm going to see you. Um, yeah, no, welcome that, to that would be Bar, a time episode 15. So we are recording this a day late and I'm very glad that we decided to record oh, a day late. We would have been so dude. screwed, dude. So Apple put out we, there. And we've done it before. Yeah, we've Apple, done it before. That's exactly why I'm glad. We've been so screwed before. Apple put out their Apple Music uh, announcement today, but... If we would have went along with the normal schedule, we would have recorded yesterday and we would have speculated about some bullshit AirPods 3 rumors. And then today <laughs> I would have been completely wrong. Would have been like, oh, you're going to have to pay per tier. And then Apple Music announces this big update today for no extra cost. You want to just hop into that? Let's do it. Let's ju- let's jump into it. Dude, I, I am blown away by this announcement like i tweeted about it it seemed like a lot of people agreed where i was just like i cannot believe this is the same yeah. price apple could have so easily just charged more money and they were like nah like we're just gonna give it for free and this puts spotify and title into such a predicament like you know john like let's be honest title wasn't exactly doing a hot before today <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> like have you ever met somebody use title you're not you no. you're not a subscriber <laughs> No, John. I have no, I but, have subscription to Title on all of my favorite devices. I love Title oh, so much. Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> I don't have. I don't it. even know what the app looks like. I just know it's black with like a couple of diamonds. I think the logo is a T. For I, I would say so. I think yeah. That, so would, that would make sense. We're pretty much highly experienced Title users at this point. The kicker yeah. is it doesn't work on any of your AirPods, dude. That this is, is the only the downside. Part where. It is it is sad boy hours for that. And I was talking about I would, that. In my I, video would be pa- today. I would be patient though. I think that something's gonna change. They also, if you noticed in their official statement to nine to five Mac, they said like currently it's not supported. And they yeah. said that word. And I just feel like PR people, like I, I think they would probably be like a little bit more clear, like, hey, it's not supported. Mm-hmm. But the fact that they said like currently, I mean, like these are the AirPods Maxes, you know, these are five hundred fifty dollar headphones. Mm-hmm. And if they legitimately do not make a way to play lossless on here like that is absurd and stupid and i will never forgive them because i bought these headphones for the promise of rumors like this like oh we actually have hardware other than like the little buds that could be insane like these already sound great with aac the fact that it just, it just feels like another miss, you know, like the Apple TV remote without the Find My. It feels like in. a miss, but what if it's not? I what just if, don't know what why. If, what if I have heard some things that would imply <laughs> that currently they it does not support it, but uh, currently doesn't have to be a very long time. Like we could, uh, we could get a codec update. <laughs> 
we could get a firmware update mm-hmm. where I mean currently the the bottleneck is Bluetooth, correct? Correct. But what if hypothetically say your AirPods Max, your AirPods Pro, your regular AirPods uh they don't use Bluetooth. Let's hypothetically say they use <laughs> AirPlay. Wait, is that a different wireless standard than bluetooth i'm pretty sure airplay piggybacks off of wi-fi oh. your wireless your wi-fi connection i think could be wrong well i would i would say that that is a very interesting idea and i'd be very interested to know if this plays out and didn't we get didn't we just get a firmware update for airpods that we aren't really sure what to do what it does yet yeah i'm just saying we should be patient and i mean currently it works wired with your airpods max right when, no. it, when it launches, at least. No. Not even wired? No, they no announced way. today it doesn't work in any way natively on these. And it's just like, why don't we have a headphone? Like, dude, how do we not have a headphone jack on a, on a $500 pair, dollar pair of headphones? Like, <laughs> obviously, for like an iPad or iPhone. Somebody like, didn't think this one through. But like, what? <laughs> There's room for a headphone jack here, dude. Like, I just <laughs> cannot fathom the engineers at Apple. And like you said, there's a reason. You're probably right, John. It will probably be something over AirPlay. That would be really cool. It's just a little weird well, to it's me one of those... that they didn't jump in front of that, though, right? Because like they, they would have been able to predict this reaction. Well, um, without saying too much, if you think that this was rushed, if this announcement feels rushed, and you're like, why would they announce this? And there's nothing like there's... It doesn't currently work, and it's not even coming out till June. So why are we talking about this now? Why did they announce this now? There is a certain trial going on uh, that is Apple versus Epic, and I would encourage you to look who's going to be testifying at the trial uh, to determine why they would have mysteriously launched uh, or at least announced a feature that's not available yet. It's one of those choice things, like where or Apple's giving you uh, a choice, mm. and you you're free to use other headphones, you know, in June. But let's say that they announced this first. You know how a good example is before they announced AirTags, like a week before they announced AirTags, they announced third party accessories were open to Find My. Mm. Right before they announced AirTags, so let's say hypothetically they announced that, um, you know. Uh, There's lossless audio quality now with Apple Music. It's free. All you got to do is use Apple Music and you can use your other headphones or another DAC or whatever, and you're free to use those other people. Because currently, especially, that wouldn't work with any AirPod products. But let's just say, hypothetically, that in a few months or so, uh, Apple has a a new native way to connect to AirPods, uh, a new codec that works over AirPlay or something similar. And now... All of your all of your other wireless headphones won't work with with the lossless audio, but your AirPods will because as long as you have an iPhone and mm-hmm. AirPods and you're in that ecosystem, uh, you'll be using a different codec connecting wirelessly through AirPlay or something that would enable lossless audio for you on your regular AirPods. That's something that you had a choice. You could use other headphones, but now AirPods are using this other codec and you can listen to Apple Music lossless audio. Mm. hypothetically of course hypothetically you have a choice um, you have a choice you can go ahead and use those other wireless headphones from other people that would be fine <laughs> but you could also use airpods uh with a with an update in the future that would allow you to stream music like that i'm just this is mm. i'm just guessing really <laughs> and, and we think wi-fi would have enough bandwidth over bluetooth for that kind of because that's the the bottle cap or bottleneck right, now, <laughs> the, right? that's it's the bottle the, cap <laughs> <laughs> that's the bottle cap. Um, that's the air tag. <laughs> yeah. That's what's wrong right now with Bluetooth. Like, that's why it's not there is because Bluetooth literally just doesn't have the, I heard it described as like, you know, a pipe. It's just like the pipe is not wide enough for all the data that it needs uh-huh. to to use lossless audio. So, I mean, I, I assume Wi-Fi. Yeah, this isn't like an Apple limitation. This isn't where they were like, no, fuck you guys. It's not, it doesn't work. It's like an actual... Mm. It's an actual like incompatibility with Bluetooth. It just doesn't. It's it's that's just the bottleneck. Bluetooth is Bluetooth, but what if we weren't using Bluetooth? Hmm. Yep. That's possible. All right. I'm looking forward to it. I uh, I subscribe to Apple Music. Do you? Yeah. Use Apple Music. Okay. I've I've been back and forth because I really like discoverability on Spotify. I think it's way better yes. than Apple Music or anything else like that. The algorithms on Spotify are just way better. 
But you know, yeah. for so long I had Spotify and Apple Music, and I was like, this is ridiculous. I don't need both. I just need to make yes. a choice. And though I don't believe that Apple Music is better in terms of discoverability, I just use it because overall it's more convenient. Yeah, I uh, I switched to Spotify for the first time since 2015. Like since the day Apple Music came out, I've been subscribing. And I switched back to Spotify about a month ago just to try it. And uh, I mean, they're, they're essentially the same thing. And like now that the lossless and, you know, we haven't even dove into like the spatial audio stuff mm -hmm. is included for free. I mean, I mean, yeah, spatial audio will work, right? Yeah, yeah. Spatial audio is going to work on everything. I'm curious to, to see why that would matter with music, though. Why well, you would want spatial audio for music. It will make you feel more immersed in like an instrumental or or something. And I think that a lot of good points were made on Twitter today. Like there's a reason Apple doesn't support lossless right now. It's because most people wouldn't even be able to tell the difference. But spatial audio, yeah. people will be able to tell the difference. Anyone will be able to notice stereo versus like the entire room feels uh -huh. like it's filled with music. And that'll work and, regardless. Like most people yes. will notice the difference there. Personally, though, I don't like to listen to music that way. Like, I'm a big stereo guy. I like. Uh, yeah, just, that's like, that's the only part where I'm just like, okay, and I'm just not fun in that regard. <laughs> yeah, there, I'm. I'm sure I'll listen to it and get, wow, this is amazing. This is really cool. And then, but yeah. why? <laughs> why do I yeah. want this in my head? I like. I cannot. I actually like refuse to listen to music in uh, like five channel surround. Like, if if it's on, like, I have to just uh -huh. do two speakers. I it ruins the the track. I don't want to hear drums and stuff on the side of me. I just yeah want it right in front. You right. Know, that, that's the way I like to listen to it. But I'm impressed. Like, this is a huge announcement. Good point because it did feel rushed. Super weird. They pre announced it in the music app. Like, they on a Sunday, they yeah, pre announced really something. Weird. That feels weird. That felt super weird. Even the marketing felt bare bones. Yeah. Like, you know, we got one screenshot of it in the press release and just that spinning spatial audio logo. Yeah. Like, just look at the uh, trial going on. Yeah. We'll take a look at who's Have testifying. Have you been uh, paying attention? I have, yeah. Not enough to report on it, but yeah. I mean, yeah. I feel like uh, just with just with how big it is, I don't think that Epic's going to win, but it's just like, it's an interesting thing to follow. And uh, do you see the reports that Tim Cook has been like practicing for hours every day for his testimony? Yeah. I did see that. That was pretty funny. I, I just imagine like his life is full of bullshit. Like... He he's already Dude, busy, really and then is. it's like, just like, and then he's got to practice for this every day, just because someone was like, oh, "We're going to see you," and he's like, "Oh, okay, <laughs> I guess." Well, no so. what you know, whose side are you on right now? Do you have you picked sides? Have oh yeah, you, have you known learned enough to pay attention? Yeah, you're on Apple side. What? Are you are you on Epic side? I'm on Epic side. I think Why? The, I think the App Store and the ecosystem should be more unlocked. You think that for real? Absolutely. Why? Yeah, <laughs> I'm I curious to know why. No, I think choice is always better than no choice. And I think that Apple has conditioned us into thinking that no choice is like an okay thing. But like, but I mean, you do have a day, choice. That's the best part. Well, not on the platform, though. And when but, the platform But Epic didn't big, build the platform. No. Listen, Apple deserves a <laughs> cut for what's in the App Store. I am not saying that like Apple deserves yeah. nothing. You think they're what taking too saying, much of a cut? Mm, I, I think Apple just has too much power. Like, the fact that there is no alternative on the iPhone is insane. Like there are billions. But it's iPhones. also why One the iPhone is the weird. iPhone. You really think it would change that much if it was a bit more unlocked? Yeah. I don't. I don't see that. Yeah. I, I see choice being a good thing. Like I, I see an alternative app store being good. Yes, <laughs> there's more risk there. Yes, it could get more sketchy, mm -hmm. but. You're also opting in. Like th that's not the default. Don't don't install the Google Play and App Store on the iPhone. Mm -hmm. But if you want it, I believe that you should be able to. I believe you should be able to go get it. I don't. I don't believe that Apple should have uh, totalitarian control over this platform that they made and built. Yeah, it's like you want to live in the house, you but, pay rent. That's it. It's that simple. But Google the does the same time, thing. It's too ubiquitous now, John. Like. If it was 2010, I would not. I would not be saying this. But like, so basically, the, they're a victim iPhone of their own Android. success, and this is their fault either way. I I think, yeah, I I do. I, I really do. And, and I you you don't think that Apple has too much power over their own platform? I, like, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. They do have a lot of power, but it's they they have the power because of how they built the platform. The way it exists currently is was always the the vision for the platform and that's why they are so successful compared to I, that's the thing you you have choices to go other other places if you want like a platform full of choice and an open 
ecosystem, for lack of a better word. You have that. You have that choice. But uh, I, th- I think there's always room in the market for a company like Apple. It doesn't mean that... I mean, if we want every company to be Google, then we should just like, you know, side with Google. But I think there's always, if Apple if Apple opens up, I feel like there will all, always be another opportunity and uh, another space in the market for a company that comes in like Apple, that does want to have everything locked down and controlled. Um, because control like that is the only way to control the end user experience. And that's what's important to Apple. I mean... I can I can totally see like the argument about them having too much control and stuff like that. And even if I do see too much control, or if I personally believe that, I'm also on the side of it doesn't fucking matter what I want because they built the platform and I opted in. This is what I want. And I think especially for um, the many and not the few, introducing another app store like that or opening something up. It's where things get murky for the average people that don't understand it. And I that's I think that's the huge difference between the Google Play Store and the App Store. I mean, we had, was it Phil Schiller? He said something like, um, it was like leaked in an email from a few years ago where he, he was just baffled by how open Google Play was. I was think that so. Phil Schiller? I, I, I haven't paid too much attention to the emails, but I know there's been a few that have come out. It's like, oh. Yeah, Phil was like, like completely confused with, oh, they just... You can you can just have any app here, or they just let this happen. It was just like either malware or adult themed content, something. He was he was referencing in an email. He wasn't even making fun of it. He was genuinely shocked by like, oh, this is allowed. But yeah, so I mean, my, you'd be my cool if like Epic had their own like what is it, the Epic Game Store or something? Yeah, on iOS. Yeah, I mean, my biggest counter to that is the fact that the Mac is already this way. Like you can download the Epic Games mm-hmm. Store on a Mac if you want to. Yeah, you can make software for the Mac. So I'm just confused why the thing that is more prevalent in our pocket is further locked down than an existing platform Apple has. And I, I feel like that's an Achilles heel, heel for them personally. Like if I was a judge, I'd be like, "Oh, you don't have complete control over the Mac," because I think <laughs> Apple realized that. Like, imagine if the Mac was locked down. Imagine if the only way to get apps on your Mac was through the App Store. Mm-hmm. Well, I think it's a completely different business model as well. Sure, the user base is quite different on on Mac versus iOS. I mean, there's a lot of overlap, obviously. Like if Mm -hmm. you own an iPhone, you have a higher propensity to own a Mac. But I don't understand in 2021 why I cannot opt in for the choice. Like if they want to do default, if they want to lock it down. That's the best part. You can opt in. You cannot opt in and you do have the choice, just not with the iPhone. But your choice the is, is the Note 20 or whatever the fuck it is. Yeah, I mean, Huawei you could go P90 to an Android X. phone. And, and listen, that's a, that's a fair counterpoint. Like, I, I recognize that. I just want more options. And, and I think that I Apple agree with you. I want so many more Android users to come over if they, like, imagine if there was a theme store where you could go and download themed icons and you could do themed sounds and it was just like yes you're you know you might be exposed to more things but i'm consenting do 10 pop-ups if that's what it takes but it's the same reason i love jailbreaking back in the day it was just like hey the iphone's kind of boring but i don't want to use android oh here's this middle ground where i can get all this stuff i want and yes there's more security vulnerability but like i never got hacked i never ran into issues uh-huh. of course the common person might if they're you know clicking on sketchy repos or different things and that's the vast but majority again, that's though why, that's the issue is that the vast is, majority is and not that's why you and I. I think yeah i think there should be you know informed consent i just feel like and it's i feel like it's very odd to to put a company in a, in a position where though i may agree you know i want i don't want people to be confused and be like oh you know john doesn't want things to be more open or he does he doesn't understand yeah. this concept i totally do i get what you're saying i agree i would like to have a more open platform i think that'd be really cool it's part of the reason why i liked android for years i just disagree that we should be in a position to force a company to go against their own values that built the brand in the first place this is it's their company it's their platform it's how they built it it has never changed you know, it's not like they locked it down when they saw things yeah. being, you know, getting successful. I feel like it's wrong for us to, you know, to freely let a company like this exist in the U.S., let them build it the way they want to, be successful because of the way they built it, and then go, oh, wait a minute, we can't do that. That's too much because uh, this this person wants a bigger cut or this person wants a, a, a more open platform. I think it's really fucked up for us to 
force a company to go back on its values, even if you don't agree with them. Uh, you know, if Apple wants one day to open it up, cool. I, I get the arguments about how it's too closed down. That's also cool. But it's like, it's a thing that we all opted into already when we when we bought the iPhone. I, I feel like, you know, no one was lied to or misled. This is how it's always been. And just because I think that at a certain degree, you know, instead of taking 30%, Apple can make a deal and, and take 15% instead. Uh, but either way, I look at it as, you know, they built the house. And if you want if you want to be in the house, then you pay the rent. They They do all the payment processing for you. They have, you know, they host everything for you. The, their, the iCloud network is huge. Um, not to mention their user base. Like you wouldn't, your brand wouldn't be in front of these people if people were not buying iPhones. And I feel like it's only right that you that you pay rent. You have just as much of a choice as anyone to go ahead and build your other your your own iPhone or like an Epic phone or whatever you want to do. Or you know, make a huge deal with Google and have some crazy Android deal for for Epic Games. That's fine and give people that choice. But I think it's really fucked up for us to try to force a company to go against its own values, whether, you know, we as consumers agree with them or not. I, like I said, I'd rather it be open, but I also see why it's why it's not. I see why it's not from, you know, just a protecting the customer standpoint on the front end and also a business standpoint where it is more selfish for them to keep it locked down. I see both I see them on, on both sides. I know that they'll always like they'll always have that argument of oh, we we really care about customer experience and that way that's why everything is controlled and locked down so we can c- control customer experience. But behind that is always the more selfish reason for having things locked down. Yeah. I still don't think that we should open it up though. All right. Fair. I didn't know Agreed that was disagree. a nice little conversation. Yeah. I feel like all the comments were like John's wrong. They should open it up. Hey, I have to tell you something, John. I uh, I just noticed my own audio track was not recording until about three minutes ago. You sack of shit. <laughs> so, uh, so do we gonna have sa- a backup it's audio? Like terrible. Uh, uh, yeah, we have a backup audio. Okay, great. We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll switch to the good audio now. <laughs> okay. How did you miss that? We did the sync and everything. I think I hit the R button and it didn't... Uh, I don't think it went. Oh, well, you did it just in time for our ad. First sponsor of the day, everybody. Thank you, Sam, for, John, for joining. By any chance, are, are you hungry right now? Are Dude, you, I'm you so got a hungry. Itch for something? I'm so hungry for this episode. <laughs> and I'm hungry for Magic Mother Freaking Spoon, guys. <laughs> That's the official who, by name, the by way, the way. <laughs> you, you will be seen on this channel more often than you have seen before. Listen. John, do you remember you remember being a kid? Remember, remember how fun that was? It was so great. I love remember I love that when you could kid. just Do you remember you the cereal the when box? you were a kid though? How great it was? Oh. I do. And then you remember how we we turned over 20 and it was like, "Oh, can't <laughs> can't eat this sugary stuff. I'm going to eat this non-sugary stuff." Yeah, Magic Spoon. Uh they signed up with us for the rest of the year, which is like we made it, Sam. This is this was our dream brand no, all along. We did it. Uh, like we said, you know, when you were a kid and you ate that gross cereal, it was fine when you were a kid, but you're older, your body can't handle it. And do you want to die early? <laughs> I don't think you want to die early. And that's why Magic Spoon is so important in my life because it won't make me die early, but also it tastes great. Oh my God. If you guys look at the stats here, zero grams <laughs> of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein. By the way, I don't know how they've done it, but like, I, I have no idea my guy tonight and I'm eating this is like my protein, like, you know, the extra protein to like bulk uh-huh. up a little bit, only four grams of net carbs in each serving and 140 calories a serving. It's like, keto friendly. Also, by the way, gluten free, grain yeah. free, soy free, low carb, GMO free, all the good stuff. And it's, it, I don't understand my favorite. So my favorite flavor, first of all, I should disclose my favorite flavor is the peanut butter. It's delicious. I wish I had yes. a box to show you, but I ate it all. So it's gone. Um, that's my favorite flavor. And I don't understand, like, it's not one of those cereals where you only eat it because it's healthy and it tastes kind of all right. Like, out of all the cereal I have, I would still choose that peanut butter Magic Spoon cereal all day, every day. Tastes so good. And then you're like, but how? Like, how does it taste like this? And it's not going to kill me. I don't I don't understand. And that's where the that's where the word magic comes in. It's magic. I'm not going to argue with it. It's fine by me. And. Listen, they've got this birthday cake flavor that they came out with, and guess what? They didn't send this to me. Your boy <laughs> used our code Genius Bar. You really at wanted that birthday cake flavor, <laughs> and saved five dollars because I was like, "This looks incredible." And sure enough, it's the best tasting thing I've ever had. Really, in my the birthday life. cake one is it better than peanut butter? I 
I, I think don't believe so. you. I'm not a big peanut butter cereal guy. I'm not a big peanut butter cereal guy, but I am a big magic spoon guy. Um, it's incredible guys. Like you got to check this out. This is my favorite thing I've ever done in my entire life. Remember you get your <laughs> next delicious bowl of guilt-free cereal at magicspoon.com slash genius bar. And then use code genius bar at checkout to save five bucks. Yeah. You can a get really your good own, deal by the way. Like get your own, uh, five bucks. It was a good enough deal for you too. <laughs> they sent it to us and you still use the promo code and bought the birthday cake one. I had to buy more. You can get yourself a variety box. Cereal. You can build your own box, uh, to build your own custom bundle. Uh, and I definitely That's recommend if you do that, make sure one of those Choices is peanut butter and I guess birthday cakes and that's Sam's favorite, whatever. Mm. Magicspoon.com slash genius bar. And of course, huge thanks to Magic Spoon for supporting the show. Okay. Sam, mm -hmm. it's been a crazy week. The week you, has been insane. If you had to average like how many hours you've slept over like seven days, would it be more or less than eight? Oh, definitely less. Yeah, yeah, it's been a wild week. Because that's what it looks like. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Are you okay? You, you okay, buddy? Yeah, I'm good. No, oh, that was not supposed to be a burn. But yeah. I mean, yeah, dude, I'm like slick <laughs> as hell. Like, I'm going to throw a burn. No, like, are you okay, dude? Like, I remember... <laughs> like there were three different mornings where like I didn't hear from you between noon and 9 p.m. Yeah, it's been wild. And I was like... Did somebody smoke this man? Like, did he get smoked <laughs> out at home and he, he's, yeah. he's gone? Because I, I need to know... I need to know if he's okay. So Monday. So are you are you okay? I think so. Monday we did the the what was it? The MacBook Air. That feels like so long ago, but it was just last Monday. Yeah. We did MacBook Air renders. Uh and I sent you images of that when I when I got the images for MacBook Air. And then we made those renders and then uh Pixel stuff came in hot in my inbox. You know how it be. Uh Pixel 6 you know stuff. How it be. We put renders for that out. The internet went nuts over that, which was it makes sense because it caught everyone off guard. That's not what we expected the new Pixel to look like. And it was a cool, it's a cool uh, surprise redesign. And yeah. then Google I.O. slides and an actual promo video from Google I.O. That which, was crazy. Which is today, I think. By the time you guys are hearing that, Google I.O. is today. Yeah. Um, so you just see all that stuff come to fruition. Um, but yeah, that was nuts. Uh, the source, so the source is usually, all my sources are usually, you know, extra careful. Like that's why we make renders instead of showing actual things. But the source mm -hmm. was like, go ahead and show this video. I was like, dude, no way. It's like, no, go ahead. You, you can show it. I was like, this is so bad mm -hmm. if I show this, but I did. Yeah. And so we showed it. Uh, and it's been, it's been super exciting, super fun. Uh, a bunch of Android people followed me. The VP of marketing for Google followed me on Twitter. So that's probably not a good sign. <laughs> it's probably waiting to put a hand hey, out on me. He didn't block you like Phil Schiller. So no, that's Phil, a plus. That, that's what I'm saying, Phil. You got to be more like, what's his fucking name? Hang on. I'm going to get it right. You got to be name more fun. I was telling John before Marvin the show. I was Chow, like, VP just of imagine uh, marketing for Google. If like Apple VPs would just like tweet John every time he did a leak and was like, this is so annoying. Why did you <laughs> leak this? Like, that would be so funny. Like, every time Mark German puts out a story, it's just like, uh -huh. Mark, for real? Like, on a Wednesday <laughs> night, real? can you give us a break? <laughs> like, that would be, oh, God. Well, I hope uh, the next CEO is, like, the, on the Elon cult of personality oh, and yeah. they're just ready to, like, just, Well, like, Sam, we're not people. done yet because currently I have Ian working on the next Apple Watch. Oh, really? Yeah. You know this. You know this. You don't have to fake it. John, you I'm trying to wait up for the show. They don't know that I've seen it already. <laughs> John, I what? Send, I you... send Sam everything early. Do, 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 do. Breaking news. There's going to be a new <laughs> Apple Watch this year? Are there you There is going to be a new me? Apple Watch. Can you believe that? Are you kidding Slight me? redesign on this that Apple Watch. This is an exclusive. Watch. This is a Genius Bar exclusive. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? A redesign. Slight redesign on that what Apple Watch. Yes. Slight redesign Slight on the Apple redesign. Watch. Well, you know, that would be Slight. true because I've also heard that from Guo Min Shi. Oh, ha wh very wait, on. what did Quo say? Uh, Guo said uh, very long ago, like about a year ago, that the Apple Watch Series 7 would have a redesign. Interesting. That's nice to know. I like to know that. All right. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Thanks, sir. I think that might help your case for this little that project might, yeah. you're working on. Because at first I was like, are people, are people going to believe the redesign? But now I'll throw in that report. That'll help. Yep. That it helps me a lot. Absolutely so happening. based on the images, without spoiling anything, yeah. your thoughts on the next Apple Watch redesign? What do you mean I can't? What is what is what spoil? You sent me images I can't talk about? Like, what do you mean? Just give us your thoughts, please, and thank you. <laughs> How does it make you feel on the inside? Well, it makes me feel warm and tingly because of the... <laughs> don't edit that out. Don't edit that out. If you edit this you out of the episode... 
<laughs> this is a Sam Cole exclusive leak. I have seen images of the new Apple Watch from a very highly trusted source, uh, and it follows similar Apple design language to a number of their other products <laughs> for everything to fall in line. I have also seen. I won't spoil this part. You, you can you can do the the kicker. What is the kicker? Oh, the fact that it's. Oh yeah 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 yeah. yeah forgot about that <laughs> like i was just like don't spoil anything and then you just you know, write down it, the list it could even come in it could come in in new colors <laughs> it could come, in, it could come well, sorry i'm looking for i'm oh, sorry are those headphones uh my walls was headphones green uh i can't really tell i i, no, I you know, can't tell they, they could be they can't could really be. see who knows who knows who you knows? gonna want it uh yeah i mean i'm not gonna get the color of my headphones if that actually ships on the watch. Uh-huh. But like, I do think it looks nice. I, I think it, it makes sense to redesign it to fall in line with Apple's other products. Like that was kind of the vision that I had from the beginning. A- and I was like, Oh, like what if it's too sharp or too jagged? And from what you showed me, it, it looks right. Like uh-huh. it, it looks and it feels right. And it, it won't be, you know, it's not like a, a 90 degree angle, you right. know, it's a little bit more subtle it's similar to sort of like the edge of an iPad from what I, I noticed. Yeah, like, you, know, you can say there, that. It's sharp, but it looks good. I, I, I'm yeah. really excited to to see the watch. And I mean, I, I reported a year ago that Touch ID was coming on this watch. So, Oh, is it? I haven't heard that. That's part. what I heard from the verifier. You know, they don't have I haven't heard that track part. record out oh, there. Oh, yeah. Uh, I remember your video on that. I remember. Yeah, but I don't know if that's actually going to happen. Hey, I'm glad. Um, I'm speaking, excited though. Well, spe- you're pointing at your AirPods. Speaking of AirPods, we I think we didn't really mention this, or we brushed over it. No AirPods three yeah. that happened today at the time of this recording. Yeah. Just despite the rumors, Luke, what is it, Luke Miani? He got, so I talked to Luke. He got cucked pretty hard on that one. I feel like. Well, he also said hi fi, and he was the only person that said hi fi this week. Espe- um, well, other than the uh, what's that one website, the music Hits website, Daily Double. Yeah. yeah, but he like he said like this week. Like they mm. they just said in the coming weeks. So that that was a really good scoop. He talked to me. He said two sources had given him information. Both had said Hi Fi was coming, but only one said AirPods. Mm. So gotcha. he so said is, he's gonna stick is with Is he the in the game now? Just, is he a leaker now? No, he told me he doesn't want to be a leaker. Like we were literally <laughs> just hard, DMing. Dude. We're like we're like, oh, we're on nine to five Mac. Oh, it, Apple yeah, Tracks it's fucking on hard. Mac rumors. Oh, we're on the verge. Oh, we're on Tom's guide. Oh, we're on like every single website for this rumor and like Mm -hmm. when i wrote it i wasn't trying to be like i've heard from a secret source like luke just told me in the dms it was like hey i've heard this and i was like all right i'll report it like if you're willing to put your credibility on the line and you you Uh tweeted it and then every website was like as noted by apple track as noted by apple track and i was like this is awesome (laughs) i know i like to be in the news john it's addicting dude when you see that byline on the verge you're just like damn let's go (laughs) Um, Let's go. Yeah, we didn't get AirPods 3. Uh, well, so Mac Rumors, I think it was a few days ago when you're, I think that's how I found out about it initially because um, I was scrolling through Twitter and I saw Mac Rumors report about your report. That's how I saw it at first. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. And uh, I think their tweet said something like, New rumor says that AirPods 3 and Apple Hi-Fi Music Tier are launching on May 18th. And I replied to the tweet with the Danny DeVito nope gif. Mm-hmm. And, uh, well, now we see that, there. first of all, there are no AirPods 3. And there was a Hi-Fi announcement, but it wasn't on May 18th either. It was on the 17th. Well... Well, in in the market... Here we go. The, the person who's the source reported it... It was technically the 18th. What does that even mean? Like the person oh, lived in a I different see what you're time saying. zone. Time zones. I got you. Because remember, this has happened from like Love to Dream as well. He said like this is coming on this day. It, like it was even after Apple had announced something, but it was because it was in his time uh-huh. that he had said something was on like the 16th versus the 17th. So yeah, they, that happens a lot with Love to Dream where he's like, what was it? when he announced the Magic Keyboard? He was like Magic Keyboard tonight because it's like. It's morning for us, but nighttime for them. Yeah, um, yeah. I I think after our discussion earlier in the podcast, I don't think that we'll be seeing AirPods three until middle of summer. Mm-mm. That's what I'm thinking. But they're ready. That's the interesting thing. It's not like oh they're yeah, not one hundred percent. So they're yeah. just sort no, of those chilling. images like. You don't get those images of uh, 80, you know, that like green image of like, just like the air buds, like uh-huh. in a row. It's like, there's like 40 <laughs> yeah. air buds, air, but air, air buds. <laughs> oh my God. AirPod. They should have called them. Wait, why did they not call them air buds? 
I guess because pod, mm-hmm. you, you've talked about this, that like the different words mean different things. Like air for pod, Apple means wireless. Pod means music. Well, at gosh, least when, so okay. wireless music. when the word air is in front of another word, it means wireless. When the word air is behind a, ne- a word, it means light. Mm. But AirPods means wireless music. Gotcha, gotcha. HomePod, EarPod, AirPod, uh, iPod. EarPod. Music. I remember those. Yeah, it means music. TBT. Um, so I'm kind of sad about that because... I was, I really want, I just want these AirPods 3 to come out, but like, yeah, who knows? I, I've been, I've been thirsting for them. I've been waiting for these AirPods for do you, months. So, like, so DubDub is soon. Do you think we're getting anything there? Any hardware? I do not. And did you see that report about the MacBook Pros today? The delay? I did. 2022, well, dude. So the most anticipated Apple Silicon device, maybe not coming this year after all. Yeah. So I, uh, at the end of our MacBook Air report, I said that um, if we see it at all, it would be the end of the year. But that's the source is very clear. Like if we see it this year at all. So and the the MacBook Air is supposed to have mini LED as well, right? I would assume no, just because that's the lower end device. I don't think they would transition that for mm. years down the road. Personally, I, I'm I'm speculating here. I, well, I either way, we're that ha- we have LED a delay on, on mini LED devices, MacBooks, especially so MacBook Pro. Yeah, a delay on that until 2022. Reports Digi Times though, so it's like they're either they're they're usually all the way right or all the way wrong and nothing in between. So 63% accurate approximately. So oh yeah, I it's forgot. A You're the guy for big that. toss up. I am the guy for that. dude. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That I would be really, really sad. I am a little disappointed. Um, I mean, I, I just want a device to get M one X or M two. Like I, I have, I just, well, we would, you would I think that we get M one X first because, uh, M two would be for MacBook air. Yes. Well, that's what we think. But then there was that report that said M2 was just going to be the next chip. Um, and it would kind of make sense what? because I feel like the M1 is so powerful. That they like So we're just going to have like, like a baseline year. chip through all the devices every year? I mean, granted, Maybe. the baseline chip is very, very good. But... I mean, what here, this is a crazy theory. What if they just go to M2 for the next devices and that's more powerful and then they just cycle down? So next year, the MacBook Air is going to have an M2, even though that was the most powerful chip in the iMac. I mean, yeah. that would be an incredibly great way for them to handle production because they've perfected it by then. Which, by and the way, I'm so excited. My iMac, well, both of them are just sitting, a state away from me. Is, how about How's your uh, iMac adventure going <laughs> since you, you woke up late and you ordered uh, a spec'd out one late? <laughs> well. That should, be the, that should be the thumbnail. Have you ever heard the phrase thoughts and prayers? (laughs) It's Um, not going well, huh? I even asked a dude at my local Apple store. um, I was like, hey, man, like, you guys going to get IMAX on launch day? He was like, probably. Uh, Some retail stores have got them today. Yeah, yeah. I saw saw a picture from him. Oh, yeah. He sent the the iMac, and it was so pretty. Yeah, I figured I should tell you some retail stores (sighs) got it today. Oh, can someone hook me up with this iMac early? Wait, speaking of things early, so I know you're you're terrified, or not terrified, but heartbroken about the fact that the iMac is like just right there. Like they are just teasing you with it, right? Yes. Did you see the guy that got the iPad Pro early? I did. So what happened? He ordered it from like somewhere different, right? Nebraska Furniture Mart. <laughs> <laughs> they sell iPads? Yeah, dude. Yeah. What? Yeah, they do. That's where I got my. That's my my pre orders. You know, few states away, but I got it from Nebraska. So did it? Did actually. it ship uh, from this fucking furniture store, or did it ship so from? So what Apple? happened is what they happened just was, said he pre ordered it on day one. Yeah, he he went to go, you know, like check his order, and they were just like, "Oh, it's ready for pickup six days early." What? And so, so he's the only one with an early iPad. He's the only one. That, he got it fuck before. That fuck the that reviewers. guy. I and hope he's have watching. You seen. No, no, he's he's cool. I actually talked to him. Um, I hit him up and I was like, yo, I'll pay you to send me the iPad this week early and I'll send it back. <laughs> Did and he, he agree? was like, no, no. Oh. He said no. I offered him 500 bucks and he well, said no. Well, then extra fuck that guy. <laughs> he like, could have like, dollars You'll make like $300 after shipping off this. Like, I just want to borrow it and I will send it back. Like, Imagine if you got like, if you got express shipping on that and you got it like a day or two before oh, the embargo be so lifts. Upset. 
Oh no, that would be incredible if I got it before the yeah. embargo. That'd be that'd be Apple some dirty also, shit. That'd be nasty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it would feel so good. Like, I was really hoping, I was like, man, maybe he'll like, you know, because if it was like a sub, then I'm sure that somebody would be like, oh, heck yeah. Like, I mean, I would do that if somebody reached well, out I'm to sure, me, like Jonathan you know, Morrison or Marquez or something was like, oh yeah, I'll send it to you. Can like, you imagine how many people also offered him that money? Do to you get think it early? It, more people did it? I, I feel, feel like, like people yeah. don't care enough. I just care because I'm like... It would be really, I mean, not only do I want to see it. And he had the mini LED model too. He has the 12.9 yeah. inch and he's uploading to his YouTube channel. About oh, he has a YouTube device. channel. Imagine that. How okay, convenient. A, How convenient is fucking subs. that? Exactly. And I Insert realized Cardi that's B clip why. Here. Future me, put the Cardi B clip in. How convenient is that? Wow. How convenient is fucking that? <laughs> And that's why he doesn't want to give it to anybody because he's enjoying the, you know, 50K views he's getting per video as the sole person in uh -huh. the global world. That's a double statement that has the <laughs> iPad Pro. Um, uh, well, uh, if all goes the well. The mini LED looks so good. He posted videos oh, and did it, he? Is, it looks better than OLED. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah he's got six so. videos up on his channel. Too bad it it's like than horrendously delayed <laughs> because know, of mini LED. I know. If I get a 12.9 on launch day. I didn't pre-order that either, John. So. <laughs> you woke up. I cannot believe you fucking slept through pre-order day. Well, I never. There's only like a few of those days a year, and you slept through it. Well, here's why: I never pre-order anything because it doesn't come till six p.m. I, I can't start work at six p.m. Not only would I be up all night, my for my skin, my you know, iMac is sleep, coming but. before noon. FedEx. Oh, isn't that cute? But yeah, is but it Karina's iPad time? is coming UPS at 6 p.m. Well, if they're coming, they came out of the same fucking place. They're going Wait, to the same using, fucking place. Why did you ship what? them two different ways? They That's shipped. Weird. Wait, they're using two different companies? Dude, they shipped my iMac through FedEx, through Japan. They So they came out of the same factory <sighs> in China. Mine went to yeah. Japan and then fucking Tennessee. Karina's went mm -hmm. from the same factory mine came from, went to... South Korea, and then Alaska, and now mm. it's in uh, Kentucky. So mine's in Tennessee, hers is in Kentucky, and it's just sitting there. They were moving so fast. I was like, oh, we're going to get them yep. early. We're going to be like that fucking asshole iPad nope. guy. But nope. Yep. <laughs> nope, not no, getting them. They, but if all goes well, it. today's the day. The day you're watching this, the day that this goes out, uh, you should have your iMac videos. If I'm correct about that leak, uh, iMac embargo would have lifted today at 9 a.m., Eastern time, and then tomorrow will be iPad Pro. Mm -hmm. Same time. Oh, God, I wonder if there's a way that you could convince somebody at like a UPS or FedEx because it, it, legally it is your thing that you order. Like yeah. it has your name and address. Like, could I just like, go to Tennessee if, and pick it up? Well, that that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, I wonder. I bet. I bet if you knew someone, like I'm not saying like an employee, but like maybe a manager or like a shift leader. Because they, they would not be in the wrong. It is your package, you know? Yeah. The only thing with that is I bet Apple... I mean, I don't know why they care so much. Like, I don't I don't know why they're so fixated on everybody getting the thing on the same day. Uh -huh. um, but they do this for everything. They did this for the iPhone as well. I remember for the iPhone 12, I think my iPhone 12 sat in Tennessee or Kentucky for four days. Just sitting. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that's just sitting. so terrible. Come on. And it's just like, man, it would be so much more competitive. Like to compete with the Marquezes of the world to like get this thing just whenever it came. Like uh -huh. maybe it is two days early. Like, shouldn't that be the reward for being like a super fan and like ordering yeah. early? Well, I dude, I, I almost freaked the fuck out because when it shipped, so they shipped at like two in the morning for me and the Apple tracking page, not the FedEx or UPS page, the Apple page where it was like, it lets you keep track of your order said that it was, that it was scheduled for delivery on the 24th. And I was like, oh. motherfucker, no. I was so oh. fast on that pre-order. No way. But FedEx and UPS both say the 21st. So Okay, that's there's good, that. Man. Um, by the way, did you notice that like order pages just went down for a day or two? Mm -mm. Yeah. I, like, I didn't order anything. <laughs> all my all my orders disappeared on my account. If I what? went to the link that was emailed to me, my iMac orders, instead of saying shipped, said order placed. And I was like, no fucking way. I had no past order history on the app, on the app store or on the Apple store online or on my phone. Everything was gone. Wow. So I searched for Twitter and it's a lot of people were having this issue hmm. and I reached out to Apple and they said that there was a system update. 
Huh. You just gonna Maybe casually it'll... update your system for two days after people order the pre order these fucking products? You just oh sorry, Why did we they gotta get this in like system update. <laughs> Why what would they the do it hell? in February? Like when there's nothing coming out? That's kinda of funny. Anyway. Yeah. I mean I'm yeah. excited, dude. Like we're four well, three days at the time of this going out from the new iMac and yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm I know so there's gonna, excited. I know there'll be one I'll be able to get in like St. Louis. It's not like we've heard that the iMac is that supply constrained. It's, it's a 12.9 inch iPad Pro that I'm, I'm worried about getting. Yeah, um, uh, I am gonna get the 12.9 inch. Before we continue, we should probably do our last sponsor of the day, dude. Today is the day of food on the show. Which John, are you that hungry? Is, that's how you know we made it, dude. That's how you I'm know so we made hungry. it. When we're not producing. When we're not promoting tech stuff, and it's food. So we Hello are Fresh. getting paid to promote food, to eat food, and it's Hello Fresh of all things. It's so and I would say hel- I would, so good. Yeah. I would say hello to Fresh. And John, I would love to say hello to Fresh. Yes. I mean, <laughs> I'm so worked up about uh, this. I got to tell you something, John. Go ahead, tell me. I uh, you uh, I struggle cooking <laughs> because it's stressful tell meal us planning about it, Sam. and grocery store trips. I'm reading the copy now so that I can enjoy cooking and get dinner on the table in 30 minutes or less. Here's the thing, John, I don't cook for myself ever. You don't. Um, I will just do, you know, oven. I'll just do, do noodles. I'll do pastas, you know, I'll do easy uh-huh. stuff. <laughs> Bachelor I'm going shit. To, I, I'm going to text you this picture of my meal. Oh no. Because it was <laughs> no. phenomenal. Like Which one I did made you have? it. I'm going to show you right now on the camera. Look at this. Okay. Please focus. Look at that. Look at you that. You made that yourself. Oh, is that the burger? That was the Gouda burger, dude. dude with the potato it was wedges. It so good. Oh my God. And you made it yourself. Like, I know. And it felt good. It, like, I literally, like, I was even like stressed that day. And I was like, no, I am cooking. They are a sponsor. I am trying this product to make sure that it's good and that I want them uh-huh. to come back. And sure enough, I know you want them to come back. I want them to come back as well. Dude, if if HelloFresh comes back, I promise I'll be a good boy. That's all I want in my life. Uh, so this was we just got. I've heard of you've heard of HelloFresh forever, right? You've already you've mm-hmm. probably heard the ads about them for a while, but I never. I don't know. I just never pulled the trigger. Never gave them a try. And then of course they sent us uh, a box, and immediately the, I think the first night we got it. Uh, so they make it really, really easy. First of all, they, they give you only the ingredients so you need. That's an issue that I yes. have. We're like, we look at a recipe and it's like, you need one tomato. Okay. It's you go so to the store. Cause it, you go to the oh, store and you go to buy forever. one tomato. Good luck. Yeah. Good luck buying one tomato. You got to buy eight tomatoes. So you so use annoying. one tomato and seven tomatoes go bad and you wasted all that money, all that time. Yep. And not, not in this case. And the, the ingredients are like crazy fresh. Like you go to the grocery store, yes. you get fresh ingredients. No. You feel good about yourself. No, dude. When and I the was bun that they stuff, sent me. Oh, <laughs> so good. And dude, the thing is, again, like you said, how, what is the minimum number of buns you can buy at the store? Eight, eight buns. Mm-hmm. How many times in my life have I ever used eight goddamn buns? I know. Never, but dude, never have I used eight buns in my life. It's but when super, they send you two for two burgers, it's like, wow. And that's it. Yeah. Wow. You don't have anything left over. You don't got to store oh, anything so in the fridge. Good. You don't got to put your eight oh. buns away that grow mold. Nothing like that. And it's it's actually really fun. So I am a terrible cook. Terrible, 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 terrible. Might be the worst cook ever. And this is one of those things where I wish I had HelloFresh, but didn't tell Karina I had HelloFresh when I met her. <laughs> so then it, it just looks like I know how to create these like originally crafted oh. meals that are delicious. She would have lost it. We... We would have gotten engaged much quicker <laughs> if it looked like I cooked <laughs> on my own like this. But it's actually really fun. I hate cooking. I'm not good at it. But they make it so easy. You just get a little, uh, like a little, uh, almost like a, a card stock full of the yeah. all the directions and the ingredients. You just follow it step by step. It's so easy. Within 30 minutes, you went from not knowing how to cook anything to you have you have this thing where you're looking at it. It's a, like a little piece of art. You're <laughs> like, I made that. I did this. And it tastes amazing. And it just, it's the best thing in my life. I even, <sighs> confession, I even went ahead and ordered it myself. So they were giving it to us for oh, free. Oh, yeah. yes. I used, a, it was one of those things where, dude. I'm, I'm next. I'm, I was, I'm this close, I was dude. emailing our ad agency and I was like, when are we getting the HelloFresh stuff? Because they usually wait, they, we got the, um, we actually got the box and stuff from HelloFresh, but we didn't get our ad read yet. And our ad read is what had our promo code in it. And I was like, when are we getting that? I need the promo code. I need to buy HelloFresh myself. I need to actually do it. The, and so like just, I want to say a week ago, we finally got the promo code. That was the very first thing I did was order HelloFresh for myself. So, 
So good. This is the longest ad ever, but I'm very passionate about HelloFresh. And that's why you guys should go to HelloFresh.com slash Genius12, and you want to use code Genius12, the promo code that John used to Listen get his to meals, this. one that I'm going to be using very soon. Um, you know, I'm just I'm just not ready to commit to cooking all the time yet. It's but so John good, is, though. and I know you are too, and now You and get 12 free meals, including you know, free no, shipping with that up. promo code. I'm signing up. I'm signing up. That's Genius crazy. 12. Genius, Genius 12, 12 free meals. Great. Free shipping. Yeah. You can thank us later. It's so good. Oh. Thank you, HelloFresh, for supporting the show, and thank you for filling my belly. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Speaking of filling your belly. Go ahead. Go ahead. How you, how you been lately? I feel like we haven't talked that much, <laughs> That was John. it. I'm good, dude. Yeah, I, just been tired. Just, I miss it. you. We're, we're going to do a reverse podcast. You know how like most people start their podcast and they're like, hey, how are you, man? Mm -hmm. Like, and how was your week? Like we need, we're going to do this at like the end of the Well, this episode. is our first time talking episode, episode, like but... all week. We don't, we don't even yeah. get to be friends anymore. We started the show and we're not friends anymore. Yeah. Fuck this show. When are you coming to visit? <laughs> are you coming to visit to, to St. Louis soon? Am I coming to Arkansas? Ar Arkansas pops? <laughs> yeah. You, you should, well, we should make this like a, uh, We'll make a little, what is that? What is it, a content house? But we got to meet yeah. halfway. And what's, what, it, we should meet at like a McDonald's that's halfway between us. And that's the, that's the content McDonald's. Oh my God. We should do a live genius bar, like with a little folding table outside of a McDonald's. Yeah. That would be or really inside, funny. like in the, but like oh. they probably won't let us film inside. So we got to, we got to find a no. McDonald's with the, like the kitty castle thing with the slides and stuff. Oh. And we got to hide inside that. Like and film inside. Imagine like a genius bar where we're stuffed in this thing, like whispering. So we're not caught. Dude, what we need <laughs> is an Apple store manager that uh -huh. will let us record at the Genius Bar. And that's the best part. So that many of them know us. Cool. But they're not, I if, bet they're not willing manager, to let us in. We, we wouldn't say the store. We would be willing to just have, we just want the Genius. Like I was in there the other day picking up uh, uh, a keychain. They got me to buy the $35 leather keychain for the, the damn of tag. Um, okay. And I returned the other two because they're god awful. The There's going to be a magnetic one, by ones. the way. Magnetic keychain on the way. Where, where are you getting this info from, bud? I'm guessing. <laughs> okay. Wow, yep. you're a really good guesser. Yep. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm, I'll am i be buying that as well. Um, <laughs> just kidding. I've only used... I put my second air tag on my, on my bike today. I've got the other two. Just They just sit here, you know? One of these I think I'm going to give to my mom. Oh, wait. She watches the show. Damn it. Well... <laughs> One of these you're not going to give to your mom. There goes so Mother's Day Part 2. So she's going to be completely surprised. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I would, I'm ready, John, to like start getting out and doing stuff again, mm -hmm. because like, we've just been cooped up and like, I just want to like, that's the best meet. part though, dude. I, I'm cooped up no matter what, like this pandemic yeah. changed nothing for me. I just live my life. Yeah. No, everyone that's else fair. has to be John Prosser. You're just living your life my, like me now. It's oh, not quarantine. God. It's John Prosser teen. <laughs> That that's terrible. hard, dude. I don't. I don't out. like the prosertine. <laughs> I don't like pro. No, we're leaving that in. You, you don't get cut to cut the prosertine out. out. No, 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 no. John, he said John prosertine. <laughs> no. John prosertine. Don't let him cut this out. He said John. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, uh, what else has been happening in the world of Apple? We got IMAX coming. We got iPads yeah, coming. We got those embargoes lifting. Um, but it does. It's not going to matter because you you're not even going to have one on launch day. So. Don't say that. You're not. You're not gonna have one. Don't, it, John. Don't. There's I, no. Don't, don't expect a video from we, Sam on launch day because he woke up too late and then uh, he's just not gonna have one. You're not gonna be. You're gonna try to go to an app store and get one for launch day. Yes, that's, that's what your I do big for plan? every product. No, that's the. That's my big plan. That's what I do for every launch day. No. I did that for the <laughs> iPhone 12s. Yeah, but the iPhone 12s are easy to get. John. <laughs> Come on, I'm a master in my game. I no, got Best not, Buys. I got Apple stores. Like no. I got Targets. I'm the I'm I'm getting. Listen, I bet you know what, John. I bet I'm gonna get my Amac before you, little buddy. I bet not. Okay, I bet I you twenty dollars. I will. I bet you I bet twenty dollars. Twenty. Oh God. <laughs> I bet you twenty dollars that I will get my oh. iMac before you get your iMac. Oh, but we're in the same time zone, and the Apple Store opens at noon. And mine no, is coming 10 by noon, bud. Ten a.m. <laughs> so, ten a.m. Fuck oh. off. <laughs> All right, I'll throw twenty. Twenty dollars. <laughs> Wait, okay. Virtual handshake. I, How are you going to bet will... me twenty dollars? Your your Apple Store doesn't even open until noon. No, no, it opens at ten a.m. Okay, so you got two I hours. If it opens earlier for launch day, sometimes they'll do like eight a.m. launches. So mm. you're going to be rushing there. I'm going to be like this. I'm still be sleeping, just waiting for the doorbell to ring. What about Karina? I bet I'm going to get my Mac before Karina. That's probably true. <laughs> <laughs> Hers is coming UPS, and UPS God, for us I doesn't hope... come until like eight p.m. 
Dude, what if they make me get like pink? What if they're like all we have is a base pink model? No, but the 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 what? <laughs> Can I try again? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the back is red, and red is dope. The red, okay, I agree. It's just like red and pink don't go together, so I don't know why they put that at the same place. What I've also realized, John, so I do have an order in for an iMac. It is for the spec'd out blue model. I think mm-hmm. the exact same one you got. But you got, you I don't got want yours blue. way too late. Yeah, but I don't want blue. I've realized. I was clouded. You wanted silver. No, well, the silver does look good. I want to get yellow. Yellow is the color I want. Oh, really? I mean, I update. I, I love yellow. I love the back, the back of the yellow. Mm-hmm. And so may you, or you may not already have I saw today. Blue? Yeah, yeah. I think I'm going to cancel the order, but That's I think sad. I'm going to like keep the blue until the yellow comes because. I don't know, man. I just, I'm just thirsting for this iMac. The the person who sent me a picture of it today, it was. A oh, they sent one. you the, they sent you a yellow one, and it, it Ooh, was it beautiful. hot. And it, it it does appear to have the uh, the wallpapers pre installed, like the hello pre installed. Oh, nice. Yeah, I would imagine. So, it looks good. I feel like I'm just speculating, but I have a feeling that that's going to be like the launch image. Like, remember those like Mac OS intro mm-hmm. videos that we had. I have a feeling that since this is the first redesign, that there's going to be something special at launch. And I bet that's also why they've been real tight about mm-hmm. these embargoes and who gets it. I reached out to, to Apple and uh, no, no reply. I reached out to nothing two different yet. PR contacts <laughs> and uh, was just like, hey, love to, love to check it out. And nothing so, yet? It's all good. Do you want me to threaten him? You want me to fight him? No, no, that would probably hurt. I, I don't want you to be anywhere near me when I'm my talking mouth Apple, looks, actually. My mouth looks extra small today. Look at this. <laughs> my mouth is so small. Dude, have you ever seen have you ever seen uh people make fun of my mouth? No. No. <laughs> it's a, no, it's no, a long no. it's a long running Why meme that my mouth is mu- I don't know, but it's a long running meme to, <laughs> that my mouth is too small. Ask Andrew Edwards. To this day he'll make fun of my mouth. Why are you so close? Well, Cuz I'm trying to see your mouth. Look at it. It's smaller than a normal human mouth. Is it? Yeah, people look at my look at my tiny little mouth. <laughs> people comment about my lips, which is really funny. <laughs> they comment, yeah, they have, comment about I your have. everything. Yeah, the, people look are real at my hair today, guys. It's growing back, mother truckers. That Albanian <laughs> woman ain't got <laughs> shit on me. Well, it's almost okay? time to go back to her. Have you seen? <laughs> well, I'm gonna go to the other woman. Um, I don't want the follicles to to get too unkempt. Have you? Know? you have you been seeing people complain about the clips on the channel that they want a separate clip channel? Oh my God. Don't get me started. Do we have to explain to them why we're not doing that yet? Sure guys. Well, first of all, we have the YouTube podcast. So again, we love everybody that listens to the audio and you know, you guys are the best, but we also started YouTube because we were just like, Hey, why not like double the people that see genius bar every week? Uh-huh. Uh, it's cause it's just more fun. But yeah, there's been a, there's been a number of comments. They go up by like one, like every week of like, can you guys just separate the clips from the main <laughs> channel like every other podcast that's ever been in existence? And it's just like, we could, but we upload one episode a week. Like, I think it's fun to like see content throughout the week. And it seems like the majority of people like that as well. Because mm-hmm. like some, you know, a lot of people don't watch the full episode, but they'll be like, oh, I didn't know they talked about that in this episode. I'm gonna yeah, watch that. If the podcast and the, like if the clips were way popular and, you know, deserved their own channel sure maybe we'll separate them but we're it's just like just fucking sit there and if you saw if the, we put a clip up and you're like oh i remember when i talked about that yeah don't click just keep scrolling don't click. it's fine it's fine unless if i mean if you guys really want you guys can make this happen baby if you really want those clips on a separate channel make the clip super popular and we'll be like okay they deserve their own channel you're right yeah, like, it just, it's on them really it's their fault yeah yeah, you guys aren't watching the clips enough. They only get like a couple thousand per clip. Yeah, you guys are ridiculous. And I'm angry. Okay. I think that's the end of what? the show. Is that the end of the show? How long is it so. recording? About an hour. Almost exactly an hour. Almost. It doesn't show me the time on my end. So oh, it doesn't? We need like a good 30 no. more seconds. Well, it's just really sad because I used to be able to see the time, but now I don't get to see the time for nope. when we record. Let's just sit here for 30 seconds, okay? No, I'm not letting that happen. I'll nope. give you guys content. I'll Completely do something quiet crazy. For 30 seconds. I'll do something absolutely crazy. <laughs> look, I'm an iPhone. Oh, wow. I look. really wish we would have ended it early. <laughs> look. <laughs> I should not have told Sam. I'm so sorry, look. guys. I should have not. Hey. I should hey. not have told Sam. I hear you don't like the clips channel. I hear you don't like in the clips. <laughs> My shorty John, he's been putting up the clips. You don't like his work? I regret. Come on. I regret telling Come you, on. Sam. I regret telling you so, f- so hard. 
I will stick my neck out for this man. I, you can't hate on the man, okay? He's been putting up these clips. Actually, I do the clips. Actually, Sam's the one that so, does the clips. <laughs> I do the clip. I do the clips. The yeah, clips when you insult great. the clips, you insult Sam right to his yes. face. That's why I was more angry and filled with rage. All right, we we've we made it. We made it our hour. We did it. Is there any any other knowledge you want to drop today, John? Anything else to close him out? <sighs> I feel like we had more to talk about or something. No, I feel like, dude, the past three weeks have been slow as shit for Apple stuff. Why do you yeah, think I today, resorted to Google stuff? John, John. Resorted? We didn't talk about resorted? The, the Beats resorted. Studio Buds. What about, oh, I don't know anything about Studio Buds. What? You didn't see the big leak? You watched my video, you said. Oh, the, the Beats, the black Studio Buds? Yeah. Yeah, okay, I saw those. Those I were crazy. Like, we got a lot of leaks about those. I just, you know. It was like, deal. you got, there were high-res images just out there? Well, they were baked into TVOS 14.6. I guess the TV uh, team's been slipping oops. a little bit, sipping on the gin, <laughs> you know, chipping these updates, which is really funny. Like, I I even thought it was iOS 14.6, and then I checked, and I was mm-hmm. like, oh. Um, oh, John. What? The, the discontinuation we forgot to hit on. Oh, the fucking... The keyboard? <laughs> yeah. The keyboard and mouse, the space gray keyboard and mouse. Dude, I was yeah. going to get one too. I was like. No, you weren't, John. Yeah. What? Why? They're, why The Touch ID one coming out. Why would I, you get Listen, one I know. That's ID? why I didn't get it. But I was going to get. Uh, okay. Before. I'm talking before the iMac came out. Before we saw <laughs> your face. Before, <laughs> before, like, we saw the, before we saw the Touch ID one coming with the iMac. I was like, well. Because you know I like this keyboard, but I want the black one. But you want you would get the big one, right? Because like mm-hmm. I I I missed the number pad, and I when I ordered the iMac, I ordered actually the no, I don't want the, I don't want the numeric keyboard. What? I didn't get it with my iMac. Wait, why? It's so I much love. Hey, let me switch to you me. like the mini key. Yeah, I love how clean this is. Just put just boop. It's so clean on yeah. your desk. I get that. Uh, yeah, I like. I just love how clean this is. There are so many times, though, where I do miss the numeric keypad, but I just go, but it's not as pretty. I just close my eyes and pretend. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I just love the numbers. Like, for editing, it's Did so you nice get the to like put numbers or values. No, 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 no. I don't use a trackpad for my main mouse. I, I like the I like I got, the Magic Mouse. For my iMac, I got this keyboard, the short one with Touch ID and the, and the mouse. And for Karina's, numeric keyboard with Touch ID plus the trackpad. Mm, so she's more of a trackpad person, which is fair. Well, I, she, I she like, I, I love it on the Mac all the time. Book. Gotcha. Yeah. And she has I mean, all I, these fucking shortcuts and whatever gestures on the thing. And it just overwhelms me. I'm just like, yeah, that's really cool. You could do that stuff, but I can't remember all that stuff. I just want to click. <laughs> just boop, 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 that's yeah. it. <laughs> I mean, listen, me. I do love the trackpad. Like it, it's not like the trackpad is bad. I like, I use it. I'd never use, this is interesting. I never use a mouse when I'm on a MacBook. Like I've never connected a mouse to my macbook for like editing ever mm-hmm. ever um but i will always use a mouse on the imac like i will never be like oh i wish i had a trackpad maybe i should try it again i remember i did have a trackpad for a short period of time last year when they added like the cursor support for the ipad because i wanted to test it out um and it was actually really great like the, i mean the magic trackpad is actually a way more impressive thing than the mouse to me yeah. and even the new mouse what changed just colors like they discontinue the you even charge it the same bullshit way stuff. how fun Oh, how fun. Yeah. But hey, we're just okay. days away now from these new accessories. Thank you guys for listening well, to this episode. The, does that mean the next Genius Bar will be recording from our IMAX? At least I will be from mine. I don't know if I will be yet. Because you might not even have yours, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off, John. I will have that IMAC. <laughs> I'm I will have, have that IMAC. Okay, thank you guys for listening. This was Genius Bar 15. Um, thanks, to, yeah, I mean, uh, I, thanks to Magic Spin and HelloFresh for supporting the show, as yes. always. Check them out. And thank out. you guys Check for watching. Check them out. You guys are the best. This is fun. Um, we will have IMAX on the premises. One of us will. <laughs> we will both. I will have. I will buy an extra iMac just for you, John. You would, uh, just to spite me. Just to spite you. Well, all I know is I'm going to have my iMac plus an extra 20 bucks when Sam loses his bet. <laughs> Can't wait. All right, guys. <laughs> Vote who you think is going to win because if you know me, you know I'm pretty determined yeah. and that I will go to great extents to get I get to sleep in. Day. Get an iMac and get a free twenty bucks. That's pretty. Oh, great. and not work because you're collecting welfare because that's yep. what you do on front page tech. <laughs> that's what you do on front page tech. Well, I'm just gonna leave it to everybody else on launch day. I'm just yeah. gonna actually enjoy the product. What are you?
a <laughs> consumer, yeah, a what's customer. What's wrong with me? You consumeristic little prick. Exactly what tech lead said I was. You just need to buy those washing machines. Yep. <laughs> okay, thank you guys for watching. Okay, bye guys. Uh, it was a fun time. Bye. Bye.